So bigger, more, bigger. more. Yeah. All right. Powerful. Earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes, these acts of um, nature. nature pale in comparison to the sheer awesome power of love. of love. Exactly. Stay tuned as men and women unleash the romantic, what's the word I'm looking uh, for, Mike? Fury. Fury that uh, is inside them in a valiant attempt to go on, what is it? The big day. That's right, the big day. <laughs> I liked it, Mike. I liked it. Thank you, everybody. Welcome. I'm Mark Wahlberg. This is The Big Date. All of today's players are here because they want to hook up with a member of the opposite sex and unleash that romantic fury that Mike and I spoke so eloquently about earlier. If they do, they have a chance to go on a really, really big date that we pay for. Yeah! But, you know, if we hooked them up and sent them out and paid for the dates, it'd be boring. So temptation is lurking behind every door. There's always a chance that somebody could get dumped. That's fun, huh? Let's meet our first player. Hey, he is a radio producer. He's 27 years old. He's a good catch, folks. David Baxter. Yeah. What up, Go homie? On. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Well, David, you're in the radio world. You're a hip, up-and-coming kind of guy. You meet ladies all the time, don't you? Yeah, for, uh, once in a while. Once in a while. What are you looking for? What's the perfect lady for you? Um, I'm looking for, like, a strong-minded, uh, passionate, glamorous party girl. Wow. A glam party girl. Well, cool. Party. Got three girls back there I want to introduce you to, David, and then you make a choice who you want to get to know a little bit better. Cool? Got it. Say hello to Irene Johnson, 29-year-old sales representative. Here she comes. Yeah. Irene Johnson. Hi, how do you do? Do you have a sweet tooth, David? Uh-huh. You do, because our next lady is 24 years old. She's a communication student. Her name is Candy Gomez. Candy. Yeah. Hi, Candy. Hi. How do you do? Hey, David, are you having fun yet? Oh, I'm having a blast. I'm so glad. Meet our 23-year-old waitress, Tammy Coralejo. Here she is. Yeah! Hi, Tammy. Hi. Here's the quiz part, David. Do you test well? I think so. Well, good, because this is the test. We're going to hear something from the ladies, then you have to choose which one of these ladies you want to get to know a little bit better. Hey, Irene. You're on a date with a guy like David. How do you make him feel special? Well, I'm pretty spontaneous, and I hope he is too. So I would probably pick him up in my car and say, hey, today's your day. I will drive you anywhere you want to go. <laughs> and we will do whatever you want to do. It's your day. That's cool. You don't even have to pay for gas. Gotta love that. Right. You do. <laughs> what about you, Candy? What do you like to do to make a guy kind of relax and have fun? Well, motherhood's a long time for me, so away from me. So I'll say, I'll treat you like a baby. I'll bathe you, cook for you, and do whatever else you want me to do. Yeah. 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 Okay. What about you, Tammy? What do you like to do on a date to make a guy feel kind of special? Well, maybe buy him a rose, make him dinner, and then from there, whatever happens. <laughs> David. I like you, and that's why I'm going to confide in you, David. We've had a lot of ladies come up here, but never has the choice been so difficult. I don't know how you're going to do it. Irene says she will pick you up in her car and take you and drive you, she said, anywhere you want to go. I mean, anywhere you want to go. Candy says she's got a little maternal instinct, so she will not only feed you, she will, what, what does she say? She would uh, bathe you. Yeah, yeah. She would feed you and bathe you, David. What do you think about that, brother? That sounds all right. Yeah, that could be scrub a dubby. What about you, Tammy? Tammy says that she will take you and kind of give you that romantic rose sort of interlude thing. So, David, I don't know which lady is intriguing you, but which one would you like to get to? I think I'm going to have to go with Irene. Irene. Come on up, Irene. What is it about Irene? It was a tough choice. Um, you know, just her answer, the first, the, the, her, she was the first answer, and I just liked the way it sounded. Yeah, driving you wherever you want to go. Yeah, I got it. What yeah. do you drive, Irene? What kind of car? I drive a BMW. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. Put your hands on the buttons there, look straight ahead. I'm going to read you some questions. If your answers match twice, you're our first lucky couple, and you're off riding into the sunset in her Beamer, David. All right, here we go. If you really needed the money, which would you do only as a last resort? Would you A, stick up a bank, or B, <laughs> star in a porno movie? Whoa. Whoa. Ah! 
I am so shocked at the outcome of this question. <laughs> you would turn to a life of crime. Yes. Now, you know the porno industry is entirely legal. Sort of. I know that. But you would, you would rob a bank before being a porn star, and you, innocent little Irene, <laughs> you would be in a porn film. As a last resort, of course. It's not against the law. It isn't. Yeah. <laughs> well, some, guns are so nasty. They are. You know, and I used to work in a bank, so. Yes, sir. <laughs> Your answer is justified for me. <laughs> well, you missed the first one, but we're going to try again before we give up hope because, hey, as a last resort, she'd be a porn star, and I think that's hopeful. <laughs> what phrase best describes how you feel when you and your mate are separated for a long time? A, absence makes the heart grow fonder, or B, when the cat's away, the mice will play. There we go. Yeah, a little absence makes the heart grow fonder. Now, Irene, it's your choice. If you want to stay with David, get the next one right. Even though you've missed one, one right is all you need. That'll be two. You'll be our lucky couple. Okay? Before you make that decision, I want to introduce you to a couple guys. Say hello to a karate instructor. He's 25 years old. His name is Hatch Agri. There he is. And a 30-year-old waiter goes by the name of Craig Gast. Let's bring Craig out here. There he is. You may want to stay with David and get the next one right, but let's hear something from these guys. Hey, Hatch. Hey, how you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Thanks for asking. All right. They've got one right answer. Why should she stop and choose you at this point? Well, let me just put it this way. Uh, we can uh, have our own little picnic on a private beach, and I can uh, feed you grapes. Oh! I like grapes. <laughs> and she'll drive, so it'll work out perfectly. You got a BMW? What about you, Craig? Um, Irene, I think you should pick me because I love to spoil women and treat them like the gorgeous people they are. <laughs> okay, Irene, your choice. Which one of these guys do you want to pick? You can stay with David, choose Hatch, or Craig. I'm going to stay with David. You're going to stay with David. stay with David. <laughs> what is it about David you like? I like the I like dark skin. I like dark hair, and I think we're even though we missed the first one. I think we're on a roll now. Yeah. All right. yeah. <laughs> one month into the relationship, you realize your date is a big whiner. Would you a learn to live with it, or b tell the whiner they're a wiener? <laughs> Congratulations! Right. You're our first lucky couple. David and Irene, they worked it out. Now they're our first couple. We'll take a break and get our next couple together right after this. So stay with us. Welcome back to The Big Date. Irene and David, well, they, they chose one another and they missed the first question like that. And we were kind of thinking it wasn't going to happen. But no, they stuck it out and they're our, our first lucky couple. How's it going? It's going good. Yeah. <laughs> you happy? Very happy. Very lovely. <laughs> Have you discussed where Irene might drive you on your date? I think we're still we're still trying to figure it out. Cool. As soon as you work it out, we get a little flight plan, a little itinerary. You'll be the like first to know. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Let's get our second couple together. We will start with the lovely Candy. Candy. <laughs> Two handsome guys over here, Candy. We've got Hatch right over there. Craig right here. One of these guys might be the guy you've been thinking about your whole life. And then maybe not. That's how dating goes. There's another guy behind the door who could be that guy that you've always been, always been dreaming of. So, it's your choice. Are you going to go with Hatch, Craig, or the guy behind the door? I just lost a bunch of money in Vegas, so I'll go with the door. You lost money in Vegas, so now you're going with the door. Yeah, might as well. Oh, Go boy. Big. Okay, <laughs> gambling has not been good to you, but let's see who's back there for you. Maybe you get lucky now. Who's back there? Yeah! You did good. Very good. Chris, say hello to Candy. This is Chris Madison, 23-year-old. Now, this is ironic. He's a 23-year-old physical therapist, and he needs some of his own with his broken hand there. Are you okay, though? Yeah, yeah? fine. Slug somebody? Jumped off my horse. He jumped off your horse? Yeah. Long story, don't worry about it. Nah, I don't want to hear about it. Okay. All right, guys, two right answers. You guys are our second lucky couple. Good luck. Hands on your buttons. Look straight ahead. You've just spent a moment of passion with your mate. Other than the bedroom, where would we likely find you next? A, in the bathroom washing up, or B, in the kitchen chowing down? Yeah! Oh 
you said you always eat after. <laughs> yeah, you do, don't you? Do you all... <laughs> after a night of passion candy, what's your meal of choice? What, what do you normally eat after a little um, passion there? Pasta. I need more carbs to work it back up again. <laughs> <laughs> She's carbo-loading while you're washing up, but if it's a one-bathroom house, that works out good. Yeah. All, right. All right, well, there you go. You didn't All match right. up. We'll try another one. Jeepers. Your mate is paying more attention to their new puppy than they are to you. Would you A, pick a bone with your baby, or B, pal up with the pooch? Mm. That's the right answer. Do you have any pets? Yeah. What kind of pets do you have? Two dogs. Two dogs and a horse. Yeah. Yeah, but that, we don't want to talk about that no. because, well, yeah. the horse won that battle. You know it. Right. Do you have any animals? Um, oh, no, don't ask, please. I had a snake and a bird, and I killed them both. <laughs> oh. I know, it's horrible, but... It is horrible. I need a new pet. You need a new pet? Mm -hmm. I don't think we can trust you with a pet, Candy. <laughs> Maybe fish? Oh, hey, you got one right, one wrong. If you stay together, get the next one right. You're our second couple. Candy, uh, actually, you had the first choice, so it's going to be your turn, Chris. You can stay with Candy if you'd like. But Tammy sits here. She might be the girl that's more like what you were looking for. I don't know. But behind the door is another lady who could be your dream woman. So what are you going to do, buddy? Well, I'm not a gambling man, so I'm going to stay with Candy. I'm going to stay with Candy. What is it about Candy that makes you want to stay here? She seems like a fun girl. Does she? Yeah. Are you a fun girl? Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> as long as you know how to make pasta. Would you like to see the lady you didn't pick? Yeah. Let's bring her out. This is the lady you did not pick, the mystery woman behind the door. Ah. This is Shauna Castle. She's 24 years old. She's a waitress. Hi, Shauna. Hello. Nice to see you. Thank you. Candy, you and Chris are, are up. If you get one right answer, you guys are a couple. While your mate is out of town, your sexy new neighbor invites you over for dinner. Would you, A, turn down the tempting offer? Or B, make more than a meal of it. Of course. Gotta be faithful. Congratulations, you guys. That's our second lucky couple. We'll take a quick break and find out which one of these handsome couples gets to go on the big date right after this. Welcome back to the big date. Two handsome couples have survived the first half of the show, but we gotta find out which couple's really meant to be together. We have David and Irene on my left over here. Chris and Candy hooked up over here on my right. Yeah! Now we have to find out which couple is most compatible because that couple goes on the big date. Ready? Here we go. Me or not me, I like to chew on pens. Yeah! Why do you chew on pens there, Irene? Probably a nervous habit. You think it's nerves? Yeah. Why do you think, Candy? The same, it's just a habit. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Chris? Absolutely. Same thing. Do you, you know what Freud says about that? Uh, yeah. Oral fixation. Oral fixation. <laughs> Sexually frustrated, those yeah. kind of things. <laughs> well, we know the matches. Next one. Let's go on. <laughs> I've been to a public library in the past year. Oh. You've been, David? Yeah, I've been. What were you doing there? Looking, for, I think, for a book. Ah. <laughs> you know, there's so many of them there. You were in the right place. Yeah, when was the last time you went to the library, Irene? Oh, I prefer to buy my books. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you don't, you don't want to risk the dues that you have to pay if you don't return exactly. it. Exactly. That, that just means another trip back. I so. understand. <laughs> me or not me, I speed up when I see a yellow light. Yeah! Oh, we got one. All right. <laughs> me or not me, I've told a date to brush their teeth before going out. Chris, you had to tell a date to brush her teeth? Yep. Wow. Makes you think twice about your selection, doesn't it, Chris? Yep. <laughs> tell me about this. I mean, how do you, you know, tenderly tell your date to brush her teeth? Well, I didn't really, she was really, I didn't really care about her. <laughs> she had Oreos in her teeth, so she had to brush her teeth before we went out. Yeah. And I just told her, you might want to brush your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> me or not me? Aha. Uh -huh. Me or not me, I can name at least two ABBA songs. Oh! <laughs> Before you do it, Irene, do you even know who ABBA is? 
No. You have no idea who ABBA is? No, I do. They're from the 70s, aren't they? I don't know. Security. <laughs> <laughs> Two ABBA songs, Irene. Dancing Queen. Of course. And Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. <laughs> Mamma Mia. There she goes again. Uh-oh. Here she goes again. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, good. <laughs> ABBA is the dope. <laughs> Me or not me. I've dated someone I met at a grocery store. Oh. oh! No one has? I'm told that that's the key place to meet a single person. You've never met anybody there, David? Um, never asked anyone out there. But you met girls there? Well, I mean, I've wanted to meet some girls there, but I never really, like, went for it. No. <laughs> You're supposed to slam your cart into their cart and go, oh, I'm sorry. And that's how you meet them. Just a little tip for you, Dave. <laughs> Me or not me, I fooled around with a co-worker at a company Christmas party. Yeah! <laughs> yeah? On the premises? Um, it was at the, like, the Christmas party. Right, so the party wasn't in the office. Right. It was at some club. Right. And it was there that you fooled around. Mm-hmm. And did you have to see this person at work the next day, and was that weird? Um, it wasn't too weird. Little? A little weird. How long did you date? Uh, we went out for a long time. Oh, good. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Very good, but you know what? We have a, co a compatible couple over here in Chris and Candy, but I hope you had a good time. Congratulations, you guys. Well, a little hug. Take a break and come back and see how big their big date's going to be after this, folks. Hey, would you like to know more about the people you see here on The Big Date, or maybe you'd like to play yourself? Well, The Big Date is on the internet. Check us out at www.thebigdate.com. If you or someone you know has herpes, then this is important to watch, because the product I'm going to share with you is guaranteed to work. It's called Azurex. There is no cure for herpes, but there is something guaranteed to stop outbreaks provide soothing relief, and accelerate healing. In this attack pack, there are five individual swabs. They are easy to carry and easy to use. Just snap it to activate it. If you feel an outbreak coming on, apply Azurex after that first tingle and immediately feel the relief. So if you're looking for something that's powerful, natural, and really works, then order Azurex now. Welcome back to the big gate. A whole lot of people wanted to be in these seats. I, I'll have you know that. But Candy and Chris deserve to be here because they've won the game. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Guys, I want to see you win the biggest date possible because, because well, I care about you. I do. <laughs> So, here's how we're going to do it. I have some personal information that you gave our producers. I'm going to read it back to you. All you have to do is predict your date's behavior. Tell me if the statement I read is true or false about your date. And if you're right, you get $50 towards that big date. Each time you're right, you get another $50, okay? If you get at least four out of six right, we invite you back on Friday. And we draw for a trip to Sandals Resort in Jamaica. And you fly there on Air Jamaica. It's a great yeah! trip. Okay? Right, here we go, Candy. Good luck. True or false? Chris once rescued a little girl from drowning. Yeah, true. You think that's true? Mm -hmm. Hey, Chris? True. Wow! <laughs> he's not just Chris, he's super Chris. <laughs> $50 for that right answer. Let's see if we can get a little more money going here, Chris. True or false, Candy once had a job working as Santa's helper. <laughs> true. True, Candy? Yes, sir. Yeah! There we go. There we go. What did you, uh, <laughs> at the mall or something? Yes. What did you in have to high wear? School. Little s s red skirt and, I don't know, yeah. little Santa's outfit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I was an elf. You were an elf? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Too right, that's $100. Let's get some more money going. You are doing great, you guys. True or false? Chris is turned on by a woman with muscular calves. Yeah. True. You think that's true? Mm -hmm. Hey, Chris. Very true. Yeah? <laughs> true or false, Candy cheated on her last boyfriend five times. Oh. False. He says false, Candy. Santa's a little helper. That's why I was hired. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was with him for eight years. Yeah. You were with him for eight years? <laughs> yeah. So five times over eight years, that's hardly one time a year. Mm -hmm. Three right. 
And a little insight for you, Chris, if you're in a long-term relationship. One more right, you guys are eligible for the trip to Jamaica. That's okay, you slump, but you can come back now. True or false, Chris likes to keep his boots on during sex. Oh, please, no. I'll say false. You say false, Chris. False. Yeah. <laughs> True or false, Candy once got naked for all of her date's buddies. False? Chris says false. Yeah, it's false. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you guys did great. Congratulations. Come with me, you guys. Good job, right here. Wow. You got five right. You're eligible. We'll see you on Friday, and we'll put your name in the hat. You'll draw. Maybe win that trip to Sandals Resort. I'd love to see you you know, win that one. $250, okay? Any idea what you're gonna do on your date? Uh, Tahoe. Tahoe! Yeah. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just said you just got back from Vegas, I didn't know, have any luck. But, so I'm gonna try my luck in Tahoe instead. I think you you're know. gonna have some good luck. You guys are good karma together. Good luck to you. Let's bring everybody else out from backstage. So they're off to Lake Tahoe for a little gambling, a little fun. Oh, beautiful up there. We'll see you tomorrow right here on the big day. Bye. Provided by Bernini.